All right, I'm excited for this one. Early one morning while making the round, I took a shot of cocaine and I shot my woman down. I went <laughs> right home yeah. and I went to the yeah. What is going down, world? A welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus. And it's your boy, Don Want to be back in the house once again. Now, me and you reacted to, uh, uh, or watched, let's just say watched, to Dodge saying we're reactors. Or is it good to be a reactor? Or proactive? We're proactors. Oh, how about you, Bazaar? Anyways, we watched Johnny Cash, a boy named Sue, live. Dude, performing in a prison. Yeah. Like a beast. Anyway, it was epic. Now, we released this reaction, and the comments are going crazy. People are like, yo, he's the man in black. He was rowdy as hell, you know, when he was young, partying, like no one could keep up with him. I've heard seen that in a comment, but then he gave his life to God, and this is why he always wears black. Like, you know, it kind of reminds me of the, uh, uh, who are those dudes that movie, uh, the Boondock Saints where they're, like, out there just getting it, but at the same time, they always say their respect to the rosary and God. Anyways, he's just a beast. He's an icon. He's a legend. And I'm just finding out about him. Like, obvious, I think I've heard the song Walk the Line. There's this one that people keep saying we should check out as a fire. But I think I might Ring have heard fire? that. Ring of Fire? I think I've yeah. heard that before. But anyways, this, this one popped up in the comments like crazy. Cocaine Blues. You know, Johnny Cash is one of those artists that's like, he he transcends the genre, the, you know, he's he's somebody that people just look to, not just as, for his music. Like, there's some people that you look to because of their music, and you're like, oh, you know, they have this amazing, like, repertoire, but he's one of those people that's an icon, because I think he transcends, like, you know, he, he represents something, yeah. right? Like, people look at him as kind of like a rebel and somebody who's like gone through the tribulations of life, come through on the other side. So he transcends that. Cause yeah. you know, you see it like people have t-shirts, other artists that aren't even like into like country music per se will wear his, yeah. you know, t-shirts he's, yeah, he, he's different. because he represents he's something more. I mean, that picture of him, you know, yeah, the yeah. middle finger, yeah, it's yeah. like, that's that iconic, you yeah. know, Dude, I'm, of bro, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about what we're about to watch. Cause everything I've heard from him just, he is incredible, and I'm so I'm sad and happy. I'm sad that I didn't get into his music earlier, but I'm happy I got into it now. You know what I mean? So, anyways, this is gonna be a first time reaction for your boy. Um, I've never heard this joint. It just sounds crazy. I mean, it's called Cocaine Blue. So let's get it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all know what it is. Forty. Forty year old boy. Oh, boy. Boys are back in town. Forty. Boys are back in town. Forty year old what? boys. What? Are back in town. What? podcast malt liquor for your ears all right y'all let me get this logo down and pull the video up don't forget support the original content on the channel i'm a hip-hop artist so i put out rap music videos every now and then we do sketches uh traveling vlogs when you support the original content helps us produce more of it and i just dropped a new music video with anthony ray called ugly boys and it's on the channel if y'all would be so kind to check it out at least a few of y'all man so many people watching the reactions show a little love. Yeah, you know I mean, but anyways, now this is incredible because this is live at Folsom State Prison. That's just bananas, yo. Because I've toured the whole, all of America. <laughs> I've toured all of Europe. I've toured Canada, and I'm thinking to myself, like, I never in my life is like, yeah, we gonna do this jailhouse performance. <laughs> like that is just a gangster, bro. And I've heard of a couple other people performing in prisons. I forget who, but he always pops up at the top of the list like, hey, man, I represent the underdog. And the other thing is Kai Snat's biting his style. He's not even going to a real prison. You know what I mean? He had to do a fake prison. Exactly. But um, I, I feel like, you know, even though some of the content is kind of, I don't know what, if I want to say edgy or like, you know, whatever it is. It's Bro, it's still, dark. It, it's inspirational, though. Like, imagine being... I a, mean, I haven't even heard the song, but he's a second in talking about it. Did a line of poop, line, line of that and puff, puff. And took my girl down. Yeah. 
That's right. dark. Let's That's just get into matter. it. Let's get into it, man. We'll talk about it as we go. It's got a swing to it, too. Early one morning while making the rounds, I took a shot of cocaine and I shot my woman down. <laughs> I went right home and I went to bed. I stuck at 1144 beneath my head. Got up next morning and I grabbed that gun. Took a shot of cocaine and away I run. Made a good run, but I run too slow. They overtook me down in Juarez, Mexico. Laid in the hot <laughs> joints, taking the pill. And walked the sheriff from Jericho Hill. He said, Willie Lee, your name is not Jack Brown. You're the dirty hack that shot your woman down. Yes, so oh yes, my name is Willie Lee. If you've got a warrant, just to read it to me. Shut her down because she made me slow. I thought I was her daddy, but she had five more. When I was bro, Jeff, bro, this dude is bananas. His storytelling is crazy. Now imagine this from the perception. Of an inmate watching this performance. I was just, well, it's Folsom, bro. There's probably some people who have a similar story in there. This that is are what literally I'm in prison for the rest of their life for doing the actual act that he is talking about. Or for like, you know, being high. And it's crazy too to think this is 1968 and he's talking about like getting all high, like shooting it up, I think is what he's talking about. Cause he said, I took a shot. So what does that mean? Yeah. Maybe that's what they called it back in the day. I have no clue. You no, know, he didn't say like I'm not a, a user of the drugs. I'm not a user, good friend. But yo, the story is bonkers, and I'm like, and it is yo, super is it like a tr- is this a true story? Because he's saying someone like Willie Lee. So yeah. is there a Willie Lee? And there's the story, and he just like you know what I mean? I think he's got. I mean, it's kind of crazy because it's like yo, where's your head at? He's got multiple songs about getting it popping in the hood, about shooting a chick, no less. Because I'm pretty sure there's a song called like Delilah, where that's like the subject matter. Oh, really? Yeah. So huh. he's out. I, I, really, like I said, I'm new to all the Johnny Cash. He's like, mm, you know, he was looking in the mirror, like, don't do it, Johnny, don't do it. You guys got to fill me in in the comments what's going on and what should we react to next, especially me because I'm very unfamiliar with uh, Johnny Cash's uh, uh, catalog. Now I have, I think the Ring of Fire I'm familiar with. Not sure. Um, but uh, walk the line, right? Walk the line, yeah, definitely, because that's where they got the whole thing for walk hard. Mm-hmm. It's like a spin off of that. Um, and then everything I've done on the channel, um, hurt and uh, uh, a boy named Sue. But uh, yeah, man, this is bro, he's incredible. There is a problem though. I got a problem though. What? Because this song is mad up beat, so yeah, it's, it's like, kind of making me happy. Like I'm yeah. just like, damn, like I kind of want to go just like do a shot of yayo and uh, start clapping, you know. No, I don't know that last part, but yes, I do want to dance. Not it's got that you. vibe where I'm just like, oh, wait a minute. Down because she made me slow. I thought I was her daddy, but she had five more. See, he, she, she, she was playing him. She was playing him. That's what, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I thought I was your daddy. You had five more. It wasn't even just one. Bro, this is what I'm saying. This is basically the 68 version of my Versace hottie. Come to find out she was banging everybody. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, he was a fresh and fit before fresh and fit. Like, yeah. yo, this is crazy. When I was arrested, I was dressed in black. Hey. They put me on a train and they took me back. Had no friend for to go my bail. They slapped my dieter carcass in that county jail. Early next morning, about a half past nine, I spied a sheriff coming down the line. A tanny coughed as he cleared his throat. He said, Come on, you dirty hack, into that district court. Into the courtroom, my trial began. Where I was handled by 12 honest men Just before the jury started out I saw that little judge come as to look about 
In about five minutes and walked a man Holding the verdict in his right hand The verdict read in the first degree I hollered, Lordy, Lordy, have mercy on me The judge, he smiled as he picked up his pen Ninety-nine years in the Folsom pen Ninety-nine years underneath that ground I can't forget today I shut that bad bitch down Come on, you gotta listen unto me Lay off that whiskey and let that cocaine be These men have receptions, Matlock, A50632, and Bat Shelter, A39879. They have receptions. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I'm just holding I doubt that. It's just, so, I'm just so intrigued. I, I want to see the room. <clears throat> Kind of like when we reacted to the, the the boy named Sue, like you just see them in the prison. Like we can hear him. Yeah, in the that's background what I'm cheering saying. when he said that mercy line, especially everyone's all like, "Oh!" But the other thing was, this is crazy. I'm getting goosebumps because he tells the whole story, and it's almost like it's kind of like I won't I'm not saying glorifying it, but at the end he's like, "Bro, put the whiskey and the cocaine down." Yeah, which is tight. Like he just sealed it with like some real, sh- you know. Like I, I rock with rock with him, and I'm just like, you, you know those dudes, like the real, like, this music industry that I'm in is full of a lot of fake nonsense and industry propaganda and politics and blah blah. So is Holly Weird, but when you hear someone like this, like I don't even have to see it; I can feel it. I can feel the authenticity, and he's just one of those dudes where like. You know, let's say you was you was in, in in prison, right? And someone's like, "Yo, Johnny Cash is here. We're gonna get him for clout." They'd be like, "No, you ain't, because he's one of us." You know what I mean? Well, that's the thing that I, you know, from his music. Why I think, and again, it's like I don't have a super deep knowledge, but when the, even just a couple songs that we've reacted to, he's like telling these stories, and like the story is like, you know, a, a boy named Sue. He gets this name. He's mad at his father, abandoned by his father. Like, yeah. You know, there's so many people that can relate to that, some version of that story, right? And then in this, it's, you know, a jealous man who was cheated on, right? Who threw his life away. And we all know these are true stories. It's like, this is a true story. It it strikes at something deep, which is kind of what I was thinking about. It's like, we both really, you know, we're into hip hop. And there's always the conversation that it's like, is this glorification of this life? And rappers will say, no, I'm just saying what it's like on the street, But I'm thinking about like a lot of the music that's out there and they don't really talk about like the dark side of like, hey, I was only making, you know, X amount a day or whatever. And now I'm spending the rest of my life in prison. Yeah. Well, the other thing you hit on real quick, Snoop Dogg, right? Remember they were trying to ban Snoop Dogg and two live crew and Tupac, blah, blah, blah. When we were coming up, you know, because that's our era. I remember there's a song, but and tricks yeah but it ain't but o's and tricks and i remember if you listen like the hook you're like damn like now <laughs> yeah. you're like damn they're like oh they need to be canceled but when you listen to the lyrics it's everything he was saying it was about a girl snoop dogg was head over heels in love with mm-hmm. he walks in the room and she's with his cousin daz yeah and then he's like f it it ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. <laughs> but I'm like, yo, there's these parallels that people always try yeah. to boo-boo on hip-hop. Yeah. And it's just the parallels of, like, the darkness, the rebel, the misfits, the streets. Yeah. Now, some of the degradation that's going on in rap now, I'm not trying to, like, oh, it's okay. Like, no, I'm not saying that. But there are these parallels that I think people need to get off their high horse. And, like, if it's real and authentic, hey, let it be. Again, I enjoyed this. Um, again, he paints the picture a little different than a hip hop hip hop. It's interesting how hip hop does, but dude, this, this has that spirit, right? I'm not saying it's hip hop. I'm not trying to, you know, yeah. uh, this is a compliment. I'm trying to make comparisons because I've never heard. Well, anything it's talking like this. about real 
life yes right that's the thing is that you know a lot of music especially pop music throughout all the ages you know talks about like oh love like it's this like miraculous thing and there's no right. dark side to it and this is like a dark story i mean that's what it is but then he puts it over this like upbeat like i want to start i'm like yo let's go take square dancing lessons and start you yeah. know tearing it up in here this one's for a, our next reaction this one's a knee slapper y'all well i appreciate the recommendation on this one you guys i really enjoyed this uh, if you guys are going to stick around for us to react to these uh, Johnny Cash joints, I'll do that on the channel. You know the motto. If you guys show up and watch these reactions, I continue them. If not, I will just watch Johnny Cash at my crib because he's fire. Like, I'm sold on this. So you guys tap in. Let me know. Um, <laughs> like, share, comment, su subscribe. The cocaine of blues. 40. <laughs> Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road, back again. F U Q Boy.